old school path uh, to the vaporizer. So this is an offshoot of the electric chair. Uh, there's just a couple details from actually the newest mastering the system that we're throwing into this. Uh, but there's much more complicated and intricate stuff in there. Check that out if you're interested. Um, so we're going to start with the, the lockdown end. And just like we worked before, we're going to the electric chair. So as he has pressure on me um, with, his, with his chest, with his shoulder, I have the lockdown in. I'm able to extend the legs, alleviate some of that pressure. And now I'm going to underhook his knee. Um, if he does not post, then uh, this could be an easy sweep that shows the mechanics of the lockdown here. I lift the foot, take it over, right? I can, I can get the sweep with that. But more, more, than, more likely than not, the guy is going to post. So here, post, get the underhook. Well, now I'm going to do the same action again, except this time I'm going to clear to the other side of Carl's body. And I'm framing so that he doesn't grab my head here. Now, uh, from this spot, it can get tricky when the guy bases uh, enough to prevent me either from uh, finishing the sweep and getting up all the way, right? Like I'm trying to drive in and he's tripoding. Um, so another path that I can take is to uh, stoner control. So if I, if I can't get up to my knee and he's keeping that base that way, driving back, then I can time myself driving a wedge underneath the other side of his leg. So I'm gonna bring my hand behind his knee, fall back, reach up. Now from here, if he stays here, I have access to his leg. More likely than not, He's going to fall to his side, try to try to uh, get a hold of me from this spot, and or put on your side probably, right? Pull me in, try, try to prevent that, prevent me from getting, prevent me from getting to his leg. So um, other things to look for, look for Kimura, uh, just try to hold me up from this spot. So I want to keep my elbows short, and now I'm gonna uh, do a motion as I come up, <clears throat> like a twister pass. It's gonna help me get access to his legs. So I bring my elbow across, and this is the detail that's in the classroom system. Go check it out. The, uh, the path that he shows in there is, is interesting. So from here, I'm gonna get a hold of the toes, and then I step on the heel, and we have our option for our finish. So we can settle back to this, pull, grab, step, finish. Now this is this will be plenty strong, and I could if I if I can reach it, I'm not uh, threatened by anything. Like if I was in the truck going for the calf slicer, I would commit to uh, one hand to it because there's an arm bar threat here. There's no arm bar threat, but it is hard to reach. So once I get a hold of this, I can also roll through, and then it will become the uh, the rolling vaporizer. So I'll have a. a a rotational lock, so it's there's kind of like a toehold calf slicer. Uh, so here I can come up to my hand, and then I'll roll over my shoulder, and now I can do all those same things. If you guys watch uh, Metamorphosis Three, this is what Eddie landed in with Boiler. So you got grab the toes, push the heel, and you drive through. If you really wanted to, I guess you could do something like that. But that's going to depend on the the uh, dimensions of you and your partner. So here we have this rotation, and we have the calf slicer, bottom third of the shin, behind the knee, pulling his toes to his butt as I twist the foot. So again. I'm coming up, I'm coming up, he's basing. This is, this is a perfectly valid finish in itself here. I'm gonna pull that in. But uh, the next one will be a lot stronger. Come up. All right, guys, let's get it. One, two, 